a bad man who never got enough hugs. Where's an innocent kid I can sell crack to? Who wrote this? It's great, right? Keep going. Damien Gracia, Big Gold Belt Media. So ladies, I, I have to tell you, you two, your characters are our, our relationship goals for a lot of people already who have talked about this show, the, the amount of support both characters give to each other. And you would not think in the denizens of hell we would have something like that. So my question would be, in your own interpretations of these characters based on, let's say, the pilot, how much of them are you? You know, how much of these characters are you in these characters? Because I know Stephanie's cursing, you know, I I picture that as like having a Latina mother it's cursing when something real. gets annoying. So, yes. Very real. The cursing is definitely very me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would hope that I would hope that I gave my partner the undying support that they need to be their best self at all times. I would hope that that's something that I do. I don't know that I always achieve it in the same way that I don't know that Baggy thinks that she always achieves it. Um, but that is, that is truly relationship goals to me. Like these two people are really in love and they're so in love that they're like true, true partners. Like whatever you need, I'm here for you. I have your back. I like all your weird little quirks and strange ideas and i love the way you see the world i love it so much that i can't imagine being without you that definitely is very me i mean i i my husband and i i just like the way that he is i like the person that he is in this world and like i think that that that's that's the core of what's happening in has been hotel is like these two people really like how the other one sees the world yeah and doesn't want to change them. That's like the couple goals to me is like, it's so easy to, there's so many couples where they're like, if my partner just was like X or my partner's just Y, or if maybe I can mold them into this and they do not want to change one another, but they help one another in moments. They each provide something for the other person that that person lacks, like be it strength or confidence or optimism. They really do like not to be cheesy, but they do sort of complete one another in an odd way. Mm -hmm. um, but mostly because they they dare not change the other person because they're both strong-willed women, um, which is cool that they are at the core of this this show. And in hell, mind you, you know they're they're and, strong. And you know, in they, hell. <laughs> 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 As I was in the previous room asking Blake, Amir, and Kimiko, just when you're doing these characters, when you're seeing the stills, and then you read the script, are there any moments where you're like, oh, I got this? Like, the, like you already know a part in the script, a part in the story, you're like, I'm going to make this mine, even though the script may call for something different. All of it. Yeah. All of it. I mean, I think that that's a, there's a certain amount of like confidence that you really need to have as a as a person who wants to put it out in the world. Yeah, like there's what? a certain amount of like you have to trust yourself, and you also know that you're not always going to be everybody's flavor, right? But like you know that you like this, or you want to try this, or you think you want to. Your gut instinct is this, or you want to do this thing make this choice because it feels x y or z you know like so all of it i think all uh, and like that's kind of what acting is, is like you putting your individual stamp on the thing the writing the story whatever right because like yes of course listen our there are a million versions of each of us we see yeah. them in audition rooms all the time you know what um, i mean but, like <laughs> But there's only really, there is really only one me and there's only one Erica. There's only one, one, right? Specifically, individually, one. And so when that person comes to a script and starts to make choices, it's theirs. It's it's like, it's their version of this thing. It doesn't mean another version is good or bad. It just means that like, this is, the, this is their stamp on it. This is their version of it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I guess yeah. also, sorry, Erica, go ahead. My apologies. Oh, no, you go, you go, follow up. So I guess my follow-up would have been because you're putting this spin on it, at the same token, these characters have a lot of depth to them, more so than you would think on the surface. So yeah. what's it like as an actor to get this script and see that it's a show about people in hell trying to bear themselves, but there's so much depth and soul, pardon the pun, behind them? Like, how does that jazz you up as an actor? 
Yeah, I mean, that's the best thing is getting to play a character that's like truly three-dimensional um, where you see the light in the dark. You see, again, it's similar to Charlie and Baggy's relationship. Like, yeah, they're in love and it's sweet and cute sometimes. And other times it's hard and they have fights and they have misunderstandings. Like that's the that's our only wish as actors is to play people where we get to show maybe multiple sides of ourselves. Um, Cause when you're only showing one, it feels, it, it's not real. It's not how human beings are. And I think the fact that this is an animated show, like literally it's two dimensional with three dimensional <laughs> characters is incredible. And that's so exciting that like, I've, I've never seen that in an animated show where it's like, we get the comedy, we get the music, but you get, actual character development. When does that mm. happen? It's amazing. <laughs> that was something I noticed actually in the first in the first episodes that everybody had a fleshed out story. Um, yes. Pretty much an episode dedicated to them. And that's got to be really refreshing as an actor, like you said, Erica, to be able to see all that happen. 100%. What's the best part about working on a show like this? The people. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we didn't have me sitting. That's what Amir said. He said the people. <laughs> Amir. Amir is a kindred goddamn Amir spirit. Amir is a kindred spirit. There were so many at the screening last night uh, in New York. Amir and I were sitting next to each other. We never met before. And we kept laughing at the same fucked up shit while watching it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, I like you, man. I like you. Because you're laughing at the fucking weird. Like, no one else is laughing in our row. And Amir and I are like, <laughs> Like that's what the show is. A lot of it's just it's like the best the weird, weird kid humor. Yes. Yeah. It. It, like, plays to all of our weird kid tendencies of like, let's just be as silly and crazy sure. as we can. Let's do it. Yeah. And I think that's what most people are gonna take from this show that everybody's unique, everybody has their quirks, and it just works. So for people who won't know what this show is and they're tuning in for the first time, what can they expect? Um, some really great songs, which is super exciting. And, um, like we leave no crumbs. Every episode is filled to the fucking brim, not just animation wise, uh -huh. but like jokes, raunchiness that like, I, I don't know what to tell you to expect. Cause you've never seen anything like this before. Mic drop. <laughs> 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 well said ladies thank you so much this was fun this is one of the best shows i've seen in a long time and i love i love animation so thank hey. you for your work thanks damien nice to meet you same